There's a new mural gracing one of Philadelphia's walls at Broad and Spruce Streets, but this one only shows up at night. Particle Falls is a light installation that projects air quality information in real time, and it's already capturing the attention of Philadelphians. You see the cars driving by, you see more particulate matter Better. appearing on, yep. the, uh, on the screen. So, and then also you have the wind stream. So as the cars go by, more particular matter, the wind picks up. So you see you get, the, yeah. an increase in activity yeah. in the airstream, yeah. So it makes you wonder how much of that we're breathing in right now. You know, when the, especially when the buses go by, it's a lot more than if it's a car or, you know, a smaller vehicle. So what makes it work? A shoebox size instrument called a nephilometer is attached to a light post across Broad Street. It takes samples of the air and passes information about the levels of particulate matter to a large projector inside the building across the street. Every 15 seconds, it reflects this data by projecting changing light patterns onto the wall of the Wilma Theater, making something normally invisible, the air, suddenly visible. Uh, it might come from uh, some kind of connection of light, different lighting put together and a project to the wall. That's what I think. People seemed intrigued by the light patterns, and some of them grew even more interested when they discovered its meaning. Wow! You see? Look all this. You see that dark right there? Yeah. Like a pollution or something like that? Every time the bus. I mean, you know, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to look at it first. And uh, the knowledge of it on the top of that is more, you know, is more beautiful, you know, to know what is behind this. A look behind the scenes of Particle Falls actually takes us to an empty, unfinished floor of a building across Broad Street. After finding a perfect blank wall on the Wilma Theater's building, artist Andrea Poli and her team still needed somewhere to project the lights from. They lucked out in finding this vacant floor where they've set up their temporary headquarters. A large, custom-built projector works on a timer and reflects the installation from 7 to 11 p.m. every night. I was interested in the materiality of the wind in the air. And I started to discover that there are, are very limited standards for what kind of air pollution is being, data is being collected. It's been a great way for people to see in real time not only the impacts of, of particulate pollution that they don't control, but also their own impacts on particulate pollution.